classic flap and my medium classic flap. I own at the moment around 11 Chanel handbags and two wallet on chains. So I do have a few other sizes of Chanel bag as well, but I thought I'd keep it simple today and just usually um, when people are tossing up with the classic flap, it's usually between small, medium and jumbo. I don't have a jumbo myself as I find um, it's quite heavy and it's a, it's a lot more expensive as well and I don't think I'd reach for it as much, although I do think it looks pretty cool. I do like the thick chains on that bag and just, it, it yeah, I, I would probably get it as well as a, of a collector's item, but I probably wouldn't reach for it a lot. So I have um, a small classic flap. This is uh, from 2020. This is from the 20S collection and it is in a caviar leather. And then I also have um, this pink classic flap. This one is, I think, over 10 years old. Let me just check. Um, I can confirm what, ser uh, what year it's from later. It's an 18 series. This one is a 30 series. So I find that the leather on this is softer, even though it's also caviar. So I'm going to show you guys today what fits in each bag and also some mod shots on me of the proportions. I am around 164 centimeters tall and I'd say I'm like slim to average build um, so yeah let's have a look so with my small classic flap I actually have a smorgasbord bag organizer in it just to keep the structure although I noticed with this it Almost like is the, the organizer was actually quite hard to put in. It was almost too big for this bag. And I think because this bag is quite new, um, the leather is still quite rigid. But I'm going to show you guys today what fits in it without the bag organizer because I don't necessarily think it needs it. It's usually like it's just mainly to keep the interior clean because this is like a lemony yellow color. So on the classic flaps, there is this little zip here. This is where Gabrielle kept her love letters, apparently. There's also the Mona Lisa smile pocket at the back, um, which you could keep, you know, your ticket stubs or, you know, some small paper in there. I'd say it's a little bit narrow to fit your phone or anything, um, and it might stretch out the leather. And it's probably not safe to put your phone back there too. It could be easy to steal. There's also another compartment in this, between the flap, just through here you could put something secret in there too and there is two pockets here and a lipstick holder and also a little pocket in the front so I love the details in this bag the construction of this bag when they make it they make it from the inside out and then they flip it and that's the most crucial part of making this bag is when they flip it you know from being inside out to the correct way they actually can see if it's come out correctly if it's been a if it's aligned if the, you know sometimes the alignment of these bags can be a little bit off I do see a little bit of alignment is a little bit off with this one but they all are handmade um, especially that bit where they flip it out so you will find from bag to bag sometimes they're not perfect um, that doesn't necessarily mean they're faulty it just is the nature of Chanel classic flaps and also the the you know the experience of the craftsman because I assume like the original craftsmen of the earlier Chanel flaps you know they would have gained a lot of experience over time as well and you know these days they're probably finding newer people to make the bags that probably haven't been making them for as long so I love the small size because I just think it's really cute um, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven quilts across. And the medium has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight quilts across. So if you're trying to work out, you know, the difference, I just sometimes count the quilting. Um, so I've got a key clay. Um, I definitely use that in this bag. I've got my 
card holder. This is my YSL compact one. I don't actually own any thicker card holders, so I can't say for sure if that would work in your bag or not. I'm just going to grab a phone to try in this bag. Totally forgot that part, guys. So this is an iPhone 11. I'm just going to try it in here. Um, and, you know, iPhone definitely fits in this bag as well. I'm going to try just another key clay. That fits totally fine. Um, I've got a sunglasses case here. I probably, I like to put my lip gloss in a case just to, you know, just to make sure there's no residue on it. That will get on my bag. So I'll put that in there. And that still fits quite nicely with all those things inside and maybe I'll try also just these are some more compact sunglasses I can probably put those on the top um, yeah but they're quite thin those sunglasses so if you wanted to put like something a bit more substantial that's not gonna fit um, these are more like thicker glasses I have a Chanel egg that won't fit either so that's probably the max that I can fit in this bag. And yeah, you can see the flap is kind of going out a little bit. So yeah, it's probably at full capacity for that one. Um, it feels kind of heavy, but I think that's just because of how much stuff I've put inside. So that's that. Let's try the other one. As, you know, time goes by and I use this more, I think this will probably, you know, get softer um, as well. It really depends on, you know, the bag and the season as well as to how soft the leather will be. Sometimes the iridescent leathers can be a lot softer as well. So this is the medium. I can already feel because this is older, it feels a lot softer. Um, so I have another bag organizer for it, but I'll just take it out. So I'm going to put the phone back in. You could potentially put your phone in the front pocket here too. This one's a lot more flexible than, um, this one just feels a lot more, I don't know, rigid because it's newer. Um, I'm going to try put in my key clay. I'll put in another key clay because, you know, I bought another one recently. <laughs> my card holder. Try that in there too. Yep. I'm going to try my egg this time in the side, that fits well, my lip gloss. Um, and then I'm going to try my thicker sunglasses as well, that fits on the top. I might even put in another pair of sunglasses because like why not, let's see if it fits. A lipstick. And yeah, that, there's still actually a bit of space, so definitely the medium fits, you know, an extra pair of sun... If you've got thicker sunglasses or if you have reading glasses that you need to carry, I definitely recommend the medium. It's just going to fit that tiny bit more and I could even fit my hand cream in this one. Um, and due to it being a bit older as well, it might be a little bit more flexible, but you can see the sides are not actually gaping like my other one. My other one is quite... It almost feels like substantially smaller, even though it doesn't look that much smaller. The medium actually fits a decent amount. So that's when I realized that I think the medium is my favorite size. It just fits pretty much everything you need and it's not that much bigger than the small. So although I like the proportions of the small more, I'd probably say if you, you know, need a few things in your day, I'd probably just go for the medium size. So yeah, it does. That's the size comparison. Um, and also this is silver hardware and this is the champagne gold. Um, yeah, so hope you found that interesting. I'll just do some mod shots now of each bag. <laughs> <laughs>